What's good, everybody? I don't have a, uh, any beard and I have a wave cap on, so y'all know what that means. I'm doing army stuff. So that also means I'm at Brian House working on the Accord. We're about to continue with the troubleshooting. What I'm about to do right now is take the valve cover off because uh, we're going to check the timing to make sure that all of that stuff is squared away. Um, the whole P0341 thing that I've been fighting with, what we keep coming across is potentially stretch time and chain and uh, maybe the, uh, the BTC gear itself. Not 100% sure. We're about to check at least the timing chain right now and check and make sure that, that it's in time and see if there's any visible, you know, stretching or wear and tear on the chain. If not, and we make it back around to the whole timing chain being the only possible issue, then I'm just going to get the OEM timing chain from Honda and put it on and go from there. I did use the, uh, I reused my D&J chain, which uh, is a, uh, like a eBay rebuild brand or whatever. Uh, they have good reviews they're not bad so i'm not like knocking dnj or anything but at the end of the day it's kind of hard to beat oem quality so yeah that's that's what we're going with oh and i got a something came in the mail so i got a little little surprise for y'all too it's actually pretty it'll be a very nice finishing touch it's nothing special nothing spectacular but it will just help clean up the bay a little bit and help make it look a little bit better so it'll uh it'll 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 help uh with the what's it called the feng shui y'all seen bad boys too y'all know what i'm talking about so yeah, let me get to it. Like I said, I'm going to take this valve cover off and hopefully I will be able to see what needs to be rectified because I'm so tired of chasing my tail, y'all. Y'all just don't understand. I am ready to just drive this thing and enjoy it. But I can't do that. Well, I can technically drive it. Y'all saw me drive it with the alignment situation, but I am really, really, really terrified of driving this thing and something going catastrophic and me blowing it up again because I do not want to do that. I don't think y'all understand how bad I don't want to do that. So I'm just going to take off the valve cover, see what's going on from there. We're going to test the wires at the uh, at the at the camp staff position sensor plug, so on and so forth, and pray for the best. So y'all cross your fingers for your boy and uh, send a couple of prayers up. Lord, be with me. So as y'all can see, I'm sitting in the car, but it's not in a good way. Uh, the big homie Jeff is doing magical things on the computer, but it's only getting us so far because we don't know what the hell is going on, and it is uh, ever growing nuisance. And uh, like I said, I'm really. I'm really ready to just sell this thing. And not really. I'm not to that point yet, but I'm definitely, uh, I'm definitely getting close. There's a pain in the buttocks, to say the least. Um, we took the valve cover off. We did check timing. It was perfectly fine mechanically, so it's like good in, in time. Uh, Jeff uh, checked the the connections and, and like traced the via a diagram, traced the wires from the sensors all the way to the ECU. Um, the crank sensor and the cam both campuses are perfectly fine, the wiring and the sensors. So, yeah, like we're it's it's a uh, chasing our tails here. Um, I know you guys want to see it in action, so do I. I am really ready to drive it. <laughs> I'm so annoyed. I haven't decided to clue what's going on, but I can show you uh, the little thing I was talking about. This bad boy right here. This uh. It didn't make it all worthwhile, but it does make me happy. It says, uh, uh, I'm gonna have to turn the camera around, but it says IP Tech Turbo. This comes from a uh, Acura RDX, and I'm gonna put it on the cover where it says two liter turbo, because it is a 2.4 liter. Well, no, it says two liter uh, IP Tech. And now we'll just say IP Tech Turbo, and it is uh, beautiful. Well, let me show you guys that in the right corner. Ooh, that thing pretty. Ooh, For the wind. Well, it would be for the wind if this thing would work. It'd be great, but it won't work. So it looks like it's gonna have to take a trip to Jeff's house, and he said he wants to sit with it and try to figure it out because uh, it's like a it's like a savant with electrical stuff. So I hope he can make it work because I'm I'm tired of this thing right here. This old little engine. I wonder what engine that is. You ever thought about that? Like, what engine did they use to, to as, as a descriptor for the check engine? Like, like, is it like an old flathead Ford or is it a, on top? Right, so it's definitely carbureted. Like, and then I'm assuming that yeah, so it's got the air filter on top. That's the fan right there uh, on the front. So like, oh, you know, yeah. So is that a 350? Like what? I'm, I'm gonna have to Google this. <laughs> On the back, right, right, right. So yeah, it had like a torque tube thing with the, the clips system on the back. Yeah, so. 
made here, so. Did you understand the brake one, right? The, the shoes around the thing, like up what? here, where it's just the Oh, oh, it's oh okay, it's, it's a it's a wheel, yeah, it's a witch what? collar with the shoes around it. Okay, 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 yeah. It's a drum brake with, right. with brake shoes on the outside. All right, it makes sense. I always thought it was just like parentheses, like, hey. Right, what's the deal? And how long does the check engine like that on the thing? Right. The Right, because they didn't really have, did it happen in the 70s? No, because there was no electronics. Right. Right. So, well, they were very minuscule of electronics, yeah. I mean, I remember like Chevy had like a, uh, I remember, well, not I remember, it's not like I was alive, but I remember Chevy had a uh, uh, fuel injected system on like the Corvettes and stuff. And, oh, yeah, the early, early. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, actually, that, those old, what, like 60s had yeah. fuel injected. Right, yeah, yeah, like first gen Corvettes or maybe maybe the early second gen or whatever, they had a, uh, they had like Spitfire fuel injection or some crazy right. thing, yeah. So, but I think that's a right, 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 right. It's still like mechanical fuel injection, yeah, but not uh, not electronic. So, uh, yeah, let's just let's Google it. Let's just let's see what Google has to say about the check engine light. This is the kind of conversation. This you is have. bothering me about this cam angle. You know, the fact that the fact that it's no not cam anything. actual. Why? Why not? I'm actually gonna put some sensors. Well. Why can't I go access error code right now? What am I doing wrong? Like, you, in order to get to the error code, you literally have to go to the thing and pull it up every single time. What, how do I get out of tool. this to go to tool? I went to tools and it's not and error code. No, it's not highlighted. It's, it's not popping up. Yeah, go down to K tune, like hover over the icon in the toolbar. Yeah. Down at the bottom. No, no, like down at the bottom. And see if there's another window open. No, no, no like down at the bottom. Like see if there's oh. another. Is there another window open? No. That's why I said. Listen to me, y'all. Uh, if you if you get into the Honda game at all, please stay away from something that requires K tuner. Okay? I love my Accord. I love it to death. If I could use K Pro and keep all of my functionality and it not cost me a million dollars to get somebody to make a, a special conversion harness, I most definitely would do that. But this is so annoying. K tuner is so bad. Yeah, this is really aggravating. Oh my goodness! Like, it does it work? Yes, but. So does, you know, a high point. Like, is it a gun? Will it shoot? Yeah, absolutely. Is it probably gonna jam on you after 15 bullets have been fired through it and you didn't clean it? More than likely, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, yes, it works. No, it doesn't work as efficiently as pretty much any other tuning system. Don't do it. I'm cutting the AC back on. Yeah. <laughs> See, that's why I have K-Tuner. My AC works, and I believe it will not work with K-Pro. I know for a fact none of my gauges work. We did manage to get the car to run off of K-Pro one time. For those who don't know, so say if somebody wants to get one of these and build an absolute race car and you don't care about AC and all that kind of stuff, and you want to like run your gauges, like you can use K-Pro. I'm thinking about running K-Pro and putting a uh, downloading the app onto the radio, the K-Pro app, and if I get the most current version as Bluetooth, so I will be able to actually display all of my information on my radio. So, if you wanted to run K-Pro on a 0, uh, a 03 through 05 Accord, you literally can use a jumper harness to go from a uh, 05, 06 RSX back to a 02 to 04 RSX. Because apparently the wiring from the 03 to, you know, clear the code, yeah, yeah. Apparently the wiring from the 03 to the um, 05 Accord is the same as the 05 and 06 RSX. So that's just a little piece of information that you probably can't do anything with, but now that you know, you know, your life could be possible. Yeah, it's not the same. So, yep. All right, it happens sometimes. Just close it out a good time. All right, guys. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting off here for a little while. Because I'm frustrated. I'm just rambling. But uh, all right, that's it for today, y'all. Uh, we made, we established. No, for me, not not. <laughs> Brian's got a lot going on. Lot. This is it for me. You mean uh, you know we're taking the car to Jeff's house. Um, I was gonna get a harness. He said don't get a harness. We're trying to figure out why there's no uh, there's no cam. cam signal. There's no cam signal on K tuner. We've established that cam to, uh, that K tuner is. Insert your most vulgar, explicit, deleted here. I absolutely can't stand it. 
Uh-huh. Oh, I didn't think about that. We can plug Capo in. We can try that really quick. So, all right, it might not be over yet, guys. I might have to, <laughs> I might have to retract my previous statement. That thing's wired right. Oh, I have literally just a converter on it. I literally have a jump on it. It ain't wired wrong. I mean, I don't know. There's no different wiring. Like, literally, it's a stock wiring harness that you plug in. It's an automatic harness, but it's just plug it in. We'll take a little time off, you gotta put stuff onto K Pro right. just to get it fired up. Oh, you gotta put the parameter change, like the injectors and stuff like that. Dead time stuff. So, so. All right, so might be we might be done for the day, guys. I don't know yet. There's so much ambiguity. In the event that I am done, the car is going to just how possibly. Don't be good, be great. In the event that I'm not done, still don't be good, be great. But you might see me again, so we'll we'll make that determination. Like an elevator headed to the pit. Feeling Superman, call me Jabba Kent. Got me bent. If you thinking you can overthrow my squad, oh my God, no face shaking when you.